Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends, in this very powerful and exciting video of Rational Equation Challenges. Here we are going to take up one very interesting rational equation with radicals. Given equation is x plus 10 over x plus root x whole cube plus root x minus 10 over x plus root x whole cube equal to 1 and we have to find out real values of x. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation first. As you can see, root x is there. So obvious thing that you can write over there x must be greater than or equal to 0. x should be non-negative. Second point, denominator cannot be 0. So x plus root x can't be 0. So from here I can see x can be written as root x square plus root x non-zero take root x common in bracket root x plus 1 non-zero. So conclusion is root x cannot be equal to 0 and root x cannot be equal to minus 1 also. So from first equation I can see x cannot be equal to 0. Okay. Now second equation it is already in the complex format. See square root x is negative. So forget about this value because we are talking about only real values of x. Now if I have to consider this equality sign removal. So the conclusion of finding this domain analysis, I can restrict our solution with this inequality. x should be greater than 0 only negative values and 0 cannot be accepted. Now come to our equation x plus root x non-zero. So I can multiply both sides with x plus root x whole cube. Both sides x plus root x whole cube. See what will happen. Denominator will be over. So let me write what would be left after that x plus 10 whole cube then I will write root x minus 10 whole cube. Right hand side I will write x plus root x whole cube. Simple. Now I have to solve this equation. So I will use the identity a cube plus b cube. If suppose this is a and this is b then a cube plus b cube formula from the algebra we know it is a plus b in bracket a square plus b square minus a b. Let us apply. So a plus b. a is x plus 10, b is root x minus 10. Once you will add 10 and minus 10 will be over. What would be left? x plus root x. So a plus b is x plus root x. This part is done. Now come to this calculation. So a square. So I will write x plus 10 whole square. So let me write once x plus 10 whole square plus b square root x minus 10 whole square minus a b. So x plus 10 and second bracket is root x minus 10. This bracket is done. Left hand side is done. Now right hand side if you will write then you will write x plus root x whole cube. Now you can see condition x plus root x non-zero. So you can easily cancel x plus root x from both sides. So let me cancel. This term will be over and this power I will cancel by writing over there 2. So what is left ultimately? x plus 10 whole square plus root x minus 10 whole square minus x plus 10 times root x minus 10 equal to x plus root x whole square. Now we have to solve this equation. Let me write and let's expand it. So I will write x plus 10 whole square plus root x minus 10 whole square minus x plus 10 root x minus 10 and right hand side was x plus root x whole square. 
now only expansion is required so i will consider a plus b whole square formula directly apply here a square plus b square plus 2ab now come to this expansion a square root x square is x plus 100 minus 20 root x now come to this expansion directly i can write minus x root x okay then plus 10x x is over 10 root x with minus sign and last term is 10 times minus 10 minus 100 so it will become plus 100 and right hand side if you will write x square plus x plus 2x root x 2ab so 2x root x now cancel whatever you can so x square plus x will be over x square plus x will be over how many hundreds are there 300 are there so i will write over there 300 now how many 20x and 10x so 30x i will write now root x terms minus 20 root x and minus 10 root x so minus 30 root x anything else yes minus x root x i will take to the right it will become 3x root x now you can see this equation is divisible by 3 so i can divide by 3 so equation will be 100 plus 10x minus 10 root x equal to x root x now consider all the term to one side so equation or better is to give substitution here so i will give substitution x is equal to a square x is equal to a square okay so root x in other words root x is equal to a so let us apply over here so it will become 100 plus 10x so i will write 10 a square minus 10 a and right hand side a q x is a square root x is a take all the term to right hand side put one side zero so a cube minus 10 a square plus 10 a minus 100 equal to zero now from first two term i can consider a square common so let me write in next slide a cube minus 10 a square plus 10 a minus 100 equal to 0 let's consider a square common a minus 10 here i will take a common 10 common then in bracket i will write a minus 10 equal to 0 so a minus 10 and a square plus 10 will be the factorization now you can see from here a equal to 10 is okay this is okay so a equal to 10 acceptable but once you will write a square is equal to negative 10 so it will generate complex solution so rejected rejected because of complex solutions now what was our a x was a square so root x was a so let us put over there in place of a we will write root x 10 so x will become squaring both sides 100 you can verify after putting this value in the given problem given equation it will through means right hand side would be equal to left hand side i hope you like this video somewhere this video will be meaningful to you do not forget to like share and subscribe wait for next good video